to assembly today. Today we're going to start with a game. So you all need your eyes and you will need something to write with. So either get um, paper and a pen or a pencil or a whiteboard and a whiteboard pen. On this tray, I've got 10 items. I'm gonna show you them all. You are then gonna have one minute to write down as many items as you can remember. If you're in reception or key stage one, you might want to work with a partner rather than on your own with this, and that's fine. No cheating. Stop trying to write them down now. I'm watching. Right, so let's see what we've got. We've got a dolly. A shark. Scissors. Some sweeties. A banana, a mask, a spoon, a conker, some glue, and Peppa Pig. I'm going to show you those items just for a minute and then I'm going to cover them up and you're going to have one minute to write down as many as you can, okay? Right, go, see how many you can remember. Write them down. Right, time's up. Shall we see how many you did? Tick off all the ones you got right. So we had a dolly, a shark, a pair of scissors, some sweeties, a banana, A mask, some glue, a spoon, a conker, and finally, Peppa Pig. Hmm, how did you all do? Who got, who got one? Put your hand up if you had one. Who got two? Three? Four? Five? Who got six? Who got seven? Eight? Oh, your memories are good. Nine? And who got 10 out of 10? Well, well done if you remembered lots of those. We're going to start with our call to worship now and a worship song and then I'll be back to tell you a little bit more about what we're thinking about in the assembly today. Father God, we worship you with all our hearts and minds. Lord God, we worship you. 
Jesus Christ, we celebrate your life and give you all our praise. Lord Jesus, we love you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you to our worship here today. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. This is the light of my facts about eyes for you. Did you know your eyes are made up of roughly two million working parts? Also, your eyes will focus on about 50 things per second. Your eyes can tell the difference between about 10 million colours. There are so many incredible facts about your eyes your eyes are miracles because God's made them. He's created them so carefully, so intricately with such a clever design that they work to make you and I see. Some people have slight variations in their eyes and they are unable to see as well as some people. Some people have to wear glasses or contact lenses, things like that. But there are also some people who cannot see at all. I want you to think for a moment. Imagine that you cannot see at all. You might want to close your eyes to help you imagine this. And when you open your eyes, it's still dark. 
This is called blindness. When someone's blind, they cannot see. Shut your eyes, keep them closed if the doors are closed. And I want you to think about what it would be like if you could not see. How would your life be different? What could and couldn't you do? In today's Bible story, we are going to find out about how Jesus helped a man who was blind. As he went along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Neither this man nor his parents sinned, said Jesus. But this happened so that the works of God might be displayed in him. As long as it is day, we must do the works of him who sent me. Night is coming, when no one can work. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. After saying this, he spat on the ground, made some mud with the saliva, and put it on the man's eyes. Wash in the pool of Siloam. This word means sent. So the man went and washed. and came home seeing. His neighbors and those who had formerly seen him begging asked, isn't this the same man who used to sit and beg? Some claimed that he was. Others said, no, he only looks like him. But he himself insisted, I am the man. How then were your eyes opened, they asked. He replied, the man they called Jesus made some mud and put it on my eyes. He told me to go to Siloam and wash. So I went and washed, and then I could see. Where is this man? They asked him. I don't know, he said. It was extremely hard to be a blind person in Jesus' day. Blind people often had to beg for money and food. Now the disciples asked Jesus whose fault it was that the man was blind. Sometimes we do things that make bad things happen, but often things happen not because of what we do, but because we live in a fallen world. Jesus explained to the disciples that the man's blindness was not the fault of anyone. Instead, Jesus was using this miracle to show the glory of God and to further reveal, to show who Jesus was, that he was the Messiah. Jesus said he was the light of the world. Jesus brought light into this man's life by helping him to see. The blind man didn't live in darkness anymore. The man obeyed Jesus and washed his eyes and he was healed. Once he was healed, the man was not afraid to share what Jesus had done for him. Even when other people did not believe him or rejected him, 
we should also share and be thankful for what God has done for us in our lives, even if other people do not believe or they reject us. Jesus described himself as the light of the world and as followers of Jesus we are called to be a light in the world. In Matthew 5 verses 14 to 16 it says this, you are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Now when the blind man regained his sight, he was very thankful and immediately he began to praise God. I want you to think now, what can you thank God for? God has done amazing things in our lives as well. So I want you to think of one thing you can thank God for today. And on a piece of paper on your whiteboard, I want you to draw or write what you are thankful for. Whilst you're doing this, I'm going to play the song City on a Hill, which has some actions. So if you finish your prayer, please do sing along or join in with the actions. Perhaps on your prayer, you might also want to add on how you could be a light in the world. Maybe how you can go and tell somebody about Jesus or share what you know about Jesus with someone else. So as I play the song, I want you to write down what you can thank God for. I am a city on a hill, I am a light in the darkness, Jesus living in me can change the world. I am a city on a hill, I am a light in the darkness, Jesus living in me can change the world. Let my light shine, let my light shine, let my light shine. Let it shine, let the light shine, let the light shine, let the light shine. God is for me, who can stand against me? Let the light shine, let the light shine, let the light shine. If God is for me, who can stand against me? Let the light shine, let the light shine, let the light shine. I am a city on a hill, I am a light in the darkness, Jesus living in me can change the world. I am a city on a hill, I am a light in the darkness, Jesus living in me can change the world. Let the light shine, let the light shine, let the light shine. Let it shine, let the light shine, let the light shine, let the light shine. If God is for me, who can stand against me? Let the light shine, let the light shine, let the light shine. If God is for me, who can stand against me? Let the light shine, let the light shine, let the light shine. We are a city on a hill, we are a light in the darkness, Jesus living in us can change the world. We are a city on a hill, we are a light in the darkness, Jesus living in us can change the world. Let the light shine, let the light shine, let the light shine. Let it shine, let the light shine, let the light shine, let the light shine. If God is for me, who can stand against me? Let the light shine, let the light shine, let the light shine. If God is for me, who can stand against me? Let the light shine, let the light shine, let the light shine. I will shine for you, burning bright with your light forever. I will shine for you, burning bright. 
I'm going to end with a prayer and then we're all going to say the grace together. Dear God, thank you for all the amazing things that you do in our lives. Help us to be lights in the world and to show people your love and your glory. Amen. Let us end together by saying the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and evermore. Amen. Well, that's the end of my assembly this week. I would absolutely love for you to share with me all the things that you were thankful for, because I'd love to join in with how you're going to be thankful. And if you did think about ways that you could be a light in the world, I'd love you to come and tell me how you're going to do that. Have a good week and hopefully those of you in Cooper and Jordan, I'll see you around school. Take care. Bye.